What's up guys, Looney here, and this is going to be the first tutorial of many today. Uh, I think there's going to be like, like five tutorials on uh, a couple of different things. I'm not going to bunch it all together just because um, I think it would be a lot to take in and, and I don't really want to want to do that and kind of confuse you guys, so I'm going to do them separately into just like short little videos. So um, this one's going to be on how to install uh, cars into the Project E mod or maybe just a whole other mod completely. So um, a car that you guys want to know how I saw was the BMW M7 that was made by Chris Kendrick. There will be a link in the description to the direct download on Mediafire. Um, if you don't feel like going to that because you don't trust me or whatever, I don't know. If you're a member of the JDM Factor Facebook page, um, you go to the JDM Factor page. After it loads, uh, you click Files, and then you go to uh, BMW M7 <laughs> Ricer by Chris Kendrick and Friends. And here's the link. So I think I might actually have to download this again because I deleted it. Let me check real quick. Um, I did delete it. Well, that sucks. So wait for this to download. I'll be right back. All right. So we have about eight seconds left on the download. Now, uh, now five. And um, as soon as it's done, I'm gonna open it up with Renrar or 7-Zip. It doesn't really matter which. which why, why did it fail? Why did? Why did you fail? That's why. More information. Stop detecting this virus. It's not a virus. What? What happened? Oh my gosh! So stupid. Try again. And now I have to do a capture. Oh my god! Power. Seal technology. Off the ride, I don't know. I mess with Facebook, go away. Okay, let's try this again. Let's see what happened. What what happened here? Oh, I deleted it. Oh, I'm stupid. Okay, so I made a mistake. Um, yeah. Now we gotta wait again because I broke it. Okay, so let's let's try this again because I'm retarded. Okay, so now we open it and it's gonna go open up to this. Now you can every car is mostly gonna be the same, so you don't have to like guesstimate on each car uh, my phone just vibrated and this can needs to go over there and because it's bothering me and this bowl needs to go there I need to take this to the kitchen too anyway um, I get distracted a lot I'm sorry anyway so every mod's gonna be the same mostly you're gonna have these same folders if it's a model by itself then you won't be doing exactly what I'm doing going to do now and I'll explain that in a second so um, you're gonna go into here you're gonna go into vehicles project D now there's another way to do this you can you normally just drag this folder in to the uh, main R factor folder which for me is um, here you can usually just drag it in and it'll do everything for you but I don't trust that because that has messed me up a couple times so what I like to do is go into the R factor install folder go into game data go into vehicles now depending on the mod that it's for this mod uh, this car mod right here is for project D so you go into the project D folder and you do the same thing here vehicles project D you drag this in. I've already done it, so I'm not going to do it, and you guys can see it's uh, it's there. And then you do the same thing with sounds. So instead of going to vehicles, you go back to the game data, you go to sounds, and you'll just drag in the folder M7 sounds, and I've already done that as well. You can see right there. So it's really easy. It's not hard at all. Hopefully this helped you guys. And just for the, la the last thing to finish it off, um, Say like say it's not a mod for Project D, say it's a standalone, like the Illegal Street FRS or ISM FRS. That car is a standalone, it's by itself. So it has its own thing, it has its own folder, it has it has everything by itself. So don't drag that into the Project D folder. Just make sure you know what uh, mod that the car is for. So uh, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope it helped you guys. If it did, please be sure to leave it a like and a comment. And if you have any trouble, you know, of course leave a comment telling me what your problem is and I'll try and help you the, to the best of my abilities. And that's going to do it. So thank you for watching, and um, I'll talk to you later.